Hi YouTube, this is Patrick and this is my review of Dexter Season 7 Episode 2. Uh, before I get into it, I just want to say that my uh, like microphone on this camera is really lousy, so I know that my reviews can be a little hard of hearing. Uh, they're much better if you wear headphones, but I'm not, I can't ask people to like put on headphones just to listen to me. So I'm just going to try to talk louder. Um, I, should have, I, I really should have been doing that for a longer time. Um, but I just don't, I'm not used to talking very, like, loud like this, or, um, so I apologize in advance if you can't hear something. If anything, you'd always ask me to clarify it in a comment or something like that. Um, but yeah. Anyway, uh, so this was another good episode. It kept everything moving. It was a little slower than last week, but usually an episode after a premiere is, um, is generally slower anyway. But the thing is, it moved all of the storylines that we have, you know, forward a little bit. It didn't feel like anything was stalling. It just felt like things were all moving forward, which was good. All right, now I'll start off with um, the investigation with Batista and Quinn. First of all, it's nice that Mike's death, even though he was like a character that ended up being useless, at least his death was a catalyst for, you know, the whole season. Um, I probably should have said that last week, but... At least it's his death that's about, that's what this investigation is about. Um, and seeing as it will all lead up to Dexter, it, it ends up being, you know, somewhat important. Now, as far as um, this storyline moved forward where they keep shutting down the strip club to get more and more, to finally get, you know, the information out of the, um, of the owner and everything like that. They haven't really given Batista much to do yet, which I said before is fine. You know, give him something to do when it's going to be important. And it's going to mean something over the course of the season. Right now, he's just investigating and, you know, it's just a, a nice human face uh, for us, basically. Now, Quinn... Yeah, I roll my eyes at Quinn, you know, talking to the stripper. And clearly, that's not going to go well. It seems like just, you know, it could be a repetition of last season's disaster where he, like, slept with the, the student. And it really was just used for filler last season. Hopefully, it will actually be, you know have some repercussions this season, um, you know, with him getting involved with her. But uh, I'll let it, you know, I'll side-eye it for now. And But you have to let it go to see if it actually does go anywhere or not. Um, besides, Quinn looks like he um, could definitely eat something. All right, our new villain, Isaac, we got a better sense of him this week don't really have any motivation or he doesn't seem to have really one yet other than just trying to very casually cover up this situation. Um, like he'll kill anyone to tie up any loose end clearly, but there doesn't seem to be anything, you know, crazy about him. He's just a, a killer that's going about his business. Nothing like Dexter's past villains uh, where they're all a bit nuts. He's just... Um, you know, just kind of, uh, really just, like, kind of casual about it. And, you know, when he, uh, when he killed the guy, he talked about, you know, loving someone and something like that, so maybe there is something there with that. Maybe he even has some vulnerability to him. Um, but it's definitely a different type of villain. And, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing where they go with it. But, um... I've heard it described, at least Ray Stevenson's performance, as just kind of being a mix of, like, suave and sinister. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what it is so far. I mean, his, uh, the kill that he got was pretty good. Very quick. And he just walked out. I like his bodyguard. You know, just kind of menacing. Looking forward to Dexter, you know, facing off with them, definitely. Uh, so it should be a little different, which, and different is good for a show like this. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm looking forward to seeing if he has an extra motivation on top of what's going on. But um, for now, much better this week than last week for me. Anyway. LaGuerta's investigation into the Bay Harbor Butcher thing moved forward a little bit this week. Uh, but it moved forward naturally. And um, that's a storyline that's going to come to the forefront as we get later on into the season. So they're kind of just like, you know, moving at that a little bit slowly. But it did move forward. And once again, a one-off scene with LaGuerta actually meant something. Which, in these past couple of seasons, any scene with her didn't mean shit. So, you know, it's, it's certainly an improvement. And it was nice to see a picture of Dokes and the old Bloodslide um, 
uh, container, basically. So, uh, you know, nice, like, nostalgia element and made me wish even more for us, for them to, like, combine season five and six of this show into, like, the best bits so we could have gotten to this kind of stuff now or quicker. But uh, at least we got to it. As always, the Deb and Dexter stuff is always, you know, is the best thing. And I said last year, if they have an entire episode where it's just Deb and Dexter sitting in a room and Dexter just telling her about everything that he's done and her just reaction to it and them just discussing, like for an entire hour, it would be, I think it would be great stuff. But they're not, you know, that's, that's not going to happen. Still, it was great to see, you know, her find out that he's the Bay Harbor Butcher and that Harry uh, taught him. Uh, good work by, you know, Hall and Carpenter. Great work, actually, by both of them in, in uh, that first scene. And, uh, you know, moments like, like, you know, Dexter telling her that he has a, he calls it his dark passenger and her saying, you know, you gave a name to it. It's a moment like that, that I think that's the kind of stuff we've been waiting for on this show to see how she would react to all these things that he has to say. And, uh, they, there's moments like that, that I'm really glad that, um, you know, this situation has finally, has finally happened, that she finally knows. And it really does help the show a lot. Also interesting was that he told her something that he hasn't even told, you know, the audience. Just the way he feels before a kill. I assume he was telling the truth. Um, it was interesting because, like, her saying that she's just a terrible detective is, uh, and her finding out things that we've known about for six seasons, but then hearing something that we didn't know about, you know, from Dexter's, Dexter's point of view, was just, um, yeah, it was just pretty interesting. Yes, she did get over it too fast. She probably should have asked him some questions about, you know, Brian or Rita or Trinity or Jordan Chase or anything like that. But I assume those things are coming down later in the season. They better be. They really should. Um, and yeah, she, I guess, moved on too fast into figuring out what she was going to do. But I thought about it, and I was like, you know, they could have taken a whole episode for her to get to the point to realize that, hey, maybe I'll try to save him. But then I think I'd probably just be criticizing it for taking too long. I like the faster pace. Um, I prefer it, especially after the last two seasons of the show. So I really don't, um, I don't mind her trying to save him. It seems like a natural thing for her to try to do. And um, I just like the way that Dexter is behaving around her now. Just more, uh, more himself and everything like that. So, yeah, maybe it's a little rushed, but things have been moving so slow in the show the past couple of seasons that a little, a little bit rushed really isn't the worst thing. Also, the whole thing with um, the kill of the week wasn't a Dexter killing someone, but it was the, um, the guy that, you know, committed suicide at the end. You know, obviously it was all about tying into what Dexter was dealing with with Deb in the episode and ultimately coming to the conclusion that he doesn't want to go to prison or, you know get killed so this whole thing of being cured it's not gonna work and he knows it and um so it's nice that they actually got that out of the way that she's still gonna keep trying to cure him and even though he kind of at least tried this episode by telling her about lewis uh even though he didn't tell her that he was in the trunk but and lewis killing lewis would be against the code anyway for now but still it, um, it, you know, it, it was nice that it did tie in with everything with the, the kill of the week kind of thing, which I'm glad that they keep doing. Uh, also that guy, I guess we're going to, that storyline even is going to move forward with, uh, the blonde chick from, uh, from Chuck is going to show up and add something to it. So, uh, so yeah, so that's interesting too. That's another thing going on. And, um, what else? I mean, Lewis, the thing with Lewis... Again, it moved really fast. Like, you know, we can say, you know, like he found out right away about the credit cards and he confronted Lewis. And then, you know, we heard Lewis's reasoning, which was obviously a fake reason. It better be a fake reason. Um, so hopefully we'll learn his motivation for what he's doing, you know, by next week or something like that. But, um, yeah, just... Uh, I'm still looking forward to seeing what's going on. I thought this, again, solid episode. I do have one thing I'll say that's a spoiler thing from the preview that they showed. If you don't want to know, um, I'll advise you to shut this off in like a few seconds. Um, but 
But otherwise, that's it for this. I will try to go see the movie Seven Psychopaths this weekend, put a review up of that, and then keep doing Dexter. And Walking Dead starts next Sunday. So have both of those up next week. Uh, but until then, I'll see you guys. And now, shut it off unless you don't want to hear any kind of spoiler stuff. It's more speculation than spoiler, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I got this. So, shut it off. Okay. Uh, the preview showed Isaac coming, up, coming across Dexter's boat and someone being on it. And it's supposed to be Dexter from the preview. But I looked at the preview. The guy... It's, we see the guy on the boat, we see the person's back, and the guy's wearing, like, a striped shirt. Dexter doesn't wear striped shirts. Um, I'm pretty sure it's Lewis. And uh, I thought Lewis was going to die halfway through the season. Yeah, I think he's biting it next week. So we need to learn his motivation uh, next week before uh, I think Isaac probably kills him. And um, I just hope it has some kind of repercussions. I guess if Isaac does do it, it will have repercussions, but... Um, but yeah, maybe I'm wrong, but if I'm not, just in case, that's why I wanted to put it in a spoiler thing, so, um, yeah. Alright, that's it, guys. Later.